Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to our channel Mo and Mpime World. It's your girl Mpime here and kama kawaida I have another amazing recipe for you guys. Kama kawaida. So for those who are watching this video and have not yet subscribed, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like this video, comment and also share it with your friends in all your socials. And for those who have subscribed, thank you so much for your love and your support. You, you have been amazing to us and we truly appreciate eh, that. Yeah, so today I want to prepare another amazing recipe, a very yummy one, a so delicious one. Yeah, every one of you will like it. You will like it. That's what I'm telling you. So I'm going to prepare chicken pilau yes guys so stay tuned to the end of this video come along let's start by chopping the onions here i have four huge bulbs of onions I'm going to chop them. Are you ready to cry? Or have you hacked the kitchen trick? Huh? There is a kitchen hack for you not to cry when chopping the onions. Do you know which one? Hmm? Which one do you know? Which one do you know? For me, I usually place my, after peeling the outer layers, I usually place mine in a basin of water before chopping. There was another one. You can, while chopping your onions, you can take a, let me show you, you can take a, a matchstick and chew it like this. Yeah? The science behind this. Someone can tell us. Hmm? I think this nini has some chemicals that can absorb the gas coming from the onions. So you won't cry if you put a matchstick like this. Eh? You won't have teary eyes at all, at all when chopping the onions. But mine, usually I place them in a basin of water. Some use warm water. Mine is just cold water. I'll just temperature, room temperature. Yeah, and another thing, another trick for a good pilau is for you to use so many onions. Eh? Use so many onions. You know, your onions and flavor go hand in hand eh? there we add flavor too much flavor to your food so pilau need too many onions mingi will do you the trick of a flavor delicious yummy pilau yeah that's what i'm doing here Masala, homemade pilau masala. I want to place it here. I had some few remaining. I'll add the really grinded one. I hope I had shown you this. 
this, how to make your pilau masala at home. But I will do also that video specifically for that. Eh? I will do it for you. So, as you can see, I have everything ready here. Now, here I ha we are. I have my onions, have you, as you had seen. I had chopped them earlier. You can chop as many as you wish. Like if you are cooking 1 kg of rice, you can use 1 kg of onions. And here I have my paste, garlic and ginger paste. And I have some potatoes. And in here, I had, this is kuku chicken. I had frozen this one, fried and frozen it. And it's broth. The broth is also here. And I have 1 kg of Pal, basma, not basmati, pishori rice, eh? long grain. And I have some cooking oil. I have my homemade pilau masala. I have some salt here to taste. So let's do this. Let's get straight to the kitchen. So in the saucepan, I will add some cooking oil. We'll wait for it to get hot. Then we'll add in our onion. I usually tell you that I want, uh, I like adding salt at this point. So I add salt. Salt, this is a kitchen hack actually. If you want your onions to cook faster, quicker, use, add salt to your onions. So let's give it some time. As we wait for the onions to cook till brown, golden brown, let's move here. I have some tomatoes, some chilies. I want to prepare some masala that goes hand in hand with the pilau. Usually, we take pilau alongside masala or kachumbari or both. So, I'm going to blend. tomatoes and green chili actually the red ones pepper pepper it has blended well as you can see the onions have Started to turn golden brown. I like it. So I'm gonna add the potatoes and you remember my ginger garlic paste. I've let some the, the some of the paste for my another recipe here. As you can see, there is a pan already on heat, and I want to add onions. I'm putting the masala.
After adding the garlic, you can see how it will become. Now it's time I go in with my pilau masala, the authentic pilau masala, and I'll add some two tablespoons of that. Here, I will also add the ginger garlic paste. I will add in some salt. I'm not in our pain that the way I love you, I'm going to show two recipes. And remember our chicken. I know it's still frozen, but I'll, it will get better with time. So both onions are ready in here on this plow. On this masala, I'll add the tom blended tomatoes and pepper. And on the other one, it's time to add my washed rice. I've used two cups of uh, certain blocks, I'll show you. Since you need to measure. Hmm? I have to mix I'd reduce the uh, heat mix it very well for the spices to get into the rice and everything and also for I like my rice to start like to be like fried first then adding water it helps in the taste on this other side you can just let me also and just stir So here I used these two glasses of rice. I'll add three glasses of water. That's the proportion I use eh, in making my rice one by one and to become fluffy, fluffy, not soggy. <laughs> Remember, there is a difference between that. So let let's wait for it to boil. Let's uh, also test some salt. At this point, if it's not how you wish it is, you can add in some salt. Yeah, you can add. Okay. 
Okay, now let's wait for it to boil. Oh, before I forget, I have this chicken broth with me. You can see, I can also add it here. It wasn't too much. So let me just add it there. It won't interfere with the proportion since the the chicken also was frozen and it will need to take some time for it to boil and become hot. So let's wait for it to boil. As we wait for our rice to boil, hapa, I have another onion for kachumbari. I want to cut it in round slices. So after chopping my onion, I'll place it in that kabaul where I'll add some salt. And white vinegar. Then I'll take my tomatoes. I also want to slice them into somehow round. You can cut them in whatever style that you want, but the better way is for them to be sliced very thinly, thin, thin slices, eh? Slice it into very thin slices, especially if your knife is so good, eh? It's sharp. So my tomatoes are ready, my onions are uh, marinating here in a vinegar and salt solution. Let's wait for the vinegar to soak well into the onions. Then I'll come show you the next step. As for now, uh, as for now, let's add our, if you, uh, you can see, well, the tomato, the water level has come down. Now we'll add some tomato paste into our masala and let it come to a boil. Around one tablespoon is enough. Yeah, it's all about waiting now. As you can see here, the water, the rice has gone so low, actually none. Eh? So when it is at this point, you reduce the heat and cover it to cook on a low heat. Eh? And this one, it's ready as you can see the the oil has remained at the top 
all the water in the tomato that we used to blend in the tomato has also dried. So our pili pili is ready. Let me test if it is well seasoned. Mm. Ah. So I'll turn off the heat. Let's wait for the pilau to cook fully. Now back to our kachumbari. You can see the onions have soaked really well. Even the color of the water tells it all. Eh? And I had already added some salt. Now it's just adding the tomatoes. And mix. If you have some carrots, some green pepper, green chilies, you can add in your kachumbari. Today I don't have those, and also since I have the masala, masala is hot. It's hot, so I don't want to add pepper here because of the children. Yeah, our kachumbari is ready. So I'll just test if the salt is really well. Mm. Let's check if our pilau. Yeah, you can see. Well cooked. The all the water has dried. And it's ready. Let me just turn off the heat so that we can start starving in like five minutes. I usually like mine staying after five minutes after from heat, then I serve. So it's after five minutes of waiting. You see, at least the wall. It has calmed down, cooled down for a bit. Now we can plate it. Let's plate this. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, here is our food. Our food is ready. Hope you have seen it. Our chicken pilau. That's how it has become. It's in the evening. I know the picture is not doing, the video is not doing it. Justice, but let me have a test. Mmm, it's so yummy. Mmm, ah. the pili pili is also so good. And you can see I've served it with some bananas, kosumbari. Hope you have seen huh so guys thank you so much for watching this video to the end i hope you have liked it you'll follow this recipe to the end huh? yeah for you to come up with such a meal so thank you so much for watching this video liking it commenting share it with your friends if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe 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 like this video and see you on our next. Bye.